most executives agree that 80% of success comes down to psychology. It comes down to your mindset. It comes down to your attitude. So I'm going to give you four principles that if you'll model these and teach these and reinforce these, these will create a leadership mindset in your organization. Let's get after it. Number one, everything rises and falls on leadership. This really speaks to ownership. But leadership is the reason that Apple today is the most valuable company in the world. It's also the reason that a great company like Blockbuster Entertainment is no longer in business. Number two, the true measure of leadership is influence. In other words, le leadership isn't about power or a position. Just because you were given a position doesn't mean that automatically things are going to happen in your organization. You need to connect with your people. You need to gain respect. You need to earn their loyalty. There's a great Chinese proverb that says, if you think you're leading and nobody's following, maybe you're just taking a walk. Number three, the highest form of leadership is self-leadership. This really deals with accountability. This really deals with continuous improvement on yourself. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, in his heyday said, I work harder on myself than anyone else would ever expect. In other words, he's working on how do I make myself better? And what I have found is it's so easy to look at others and see their blind spots. And it's so difficult to look at ourselves in CRs. So commit to a growth plan. Get advice from your peers. Where do I need to grow in order to make a bigger impact? Reduce the uh, tendency that we all have to blame things on others or say that's out of my control. Uh, take accountability. And then number four, the highest purpose of leadership is adding value to others. This speaks to servanthood. Leadership is not about getting others to think more highly of you. Leadership is about getting others to think more highly of themselves. So think about how you can come alongside and develop those that are below you. Think about how you can fill in the gaps of your peers and those that are beside you. How can you support them in overcoming their shortcomings. We all have shortcomings. And then how can you lighten the load or how can you add value or how can you help those above you recast their vision? Put these four principles into place, model them yourself, teach them over and over and over again, make them visible in your department and watch your level of leadership grow and watch the mindset of your team members improve Watch that leadership mindset take over and you achieve great things. Continue to step up, continue to own your leadership, and always lead with passion.